Hey, Miguel. Hey. Morning, Louise. Beautiful day, ain't it? Always a beautiful day in Harmony. Sure is. Salvino! Luis, Miguel! Where are you guys headed? Drop Miguel down at the docks. I'm going to look for a summer job. I could use your help right here. Really? He's already got a job. No, I don't. See you later, Salvino. All right. What are you doing? It's bad enough that Mama cleans their mansion. There's no way I'm letting my little brother be a gardener for the damn cranes. Sorry, Sheridan Crane isn't here. I don't know. She's in Paris and hasn't lived here in a long time. You're welcome. I wonder why Mr. Ethan's Aunt Sheridan doesn't come home. Same time. I wonder who she is and where she goes. She looks like a princess. <laughs> if she is, she's a very sad princess. Don't go to Paris tonight. Oh, darling, I have to. I have fittings. Can't you find somebody here to hem your dresses or whatever? <laughs> no, Harmony. I don't think so. Not unless I want everything finished off in the fisherman's knot. Besides, you'll have plenty of company. Who? Oh, all those local girls lusting after the handsome and rich Ethan Crane. Right. They wouldn't notice me if they fell over me. They'll be falling over you all right. Oh, and believe me, they'll know you. Oh, Gwen. I hardly spend any time here growing up. Oh, but you're back now. And you've been picked up on every single girl's eligible bachelor radar screen. A major blip. A major blip. Yeah, that's me. <laughs> but an adorable one. <laughs> so, what happens if one of those lovely ladies sees your blip so close to my blip? Well, she'll be terribly jealous, of course. Now get your blip over here. Good job. When will they marry? Never. What's a girl to do? I'm warning you! Oh, I'm so scared. You little brat! Simone! I'm out of this. What is going on down here? The 
Daddy, she hit me. I did not. I don't care what happened. I want you to keep it down. She started it, Daddy. I did not. I don't care who started what. I want you to be quiet. Now, your mother was up late working on a carnival plant. I don't want anyone waking her up. Do you hear me? No one. Blessed Mother, hear my prayer. I know I've asked you so often, but if you will, please, please let me have some happiness. A true love that I can share forever. I don't want to die now. Please don't let me be killed, too. Are you sure one of the local girls never brought you here? Why would you think that? Hmm. For someone who claims not to know Harmony very well, you certainly know the local makeout spot. How do you know? You're not even from Harmony. Well, it seems that Dune Point is quite the passion pit. I overheard some local girls talking when I was at the drugstore. Well, you're two up on me. I don't even know where the drugstore is. Oh, you're joking. <sighs> Gwen, you know how little time I spent in Harmony. I've been in boarding school same as you since I was a kid. I didn't even vacation here. I always thought that was kind of odd, didn't you? Just the way it was. It bothers you, doesn't it? No. Well... I guess when you think of those poor little local girls who missed out on the Ethan Crane experience. Oh, please. <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> there probably isn't a girl in town that even knows I exist. Oh, I bet there are a lot of would-be Cinderella's dreaming of meeting Prince Charming Crane right now. She is so ugly. You don't even belong with her, Ethan. That's better. <laughs> Great shot, Whitney. I learned it from you, Daddy. <laughs> Where's your mom? <sighs> so what fancy schmancy magazine are you looking at this time? City and country. What's that? I gave Gwen Hotchkiss a makeover. <laughs> you are crazy, you know that? <laughs> <laughs> Hi, 
I can see from that grin on your face that Whitney beat you. Mark my words, sweetheart. Our daughter is going to be... going to make the Olympic team. <laughs> You've been saying that ever since you put a racket in her crib, TC. I know a winner when I see one. That's why I married you. Mm. So, where are you headed? Well, I have to pick up Simone at the Bennetts. <laughs> I can't even believe it. With her busy schedule, Grace still finds time to be a carnival chairperson. <laughs> That's great. She's always got to have something going on. <laughs> Wake up, Grace. Uh, I'm afraid. Wake up. It's time. The danger is here. Excuse me, mademoiselle. May I be of help? Excuse me, father? I have noticed you come here every day for the last two years. Always you pray to Our Lady. You seem so troubled and sad. A friend of mine died. Oh, I'm so sorry. We didn't know each other long, but we were very close. Our lives, our backgrounds were so similar. We both had lonely childhoods, we were always hoping to find true love. And my friend finally did. Just before she died. And that's why I'm afraid. I don't understand. Well, we were so similar. And now I think that I finally found true love, but what if I die before I can completely experience that love? Like Diana. Diana? This friend of yours, was she Princess Diana? Yes. She was so dear to me. The only other person closer to me is my nephew Ethan, but he's thousands of miles away in America, in a place called Harmony. I'm gonna miss you. Come to Paris with me. I'd love to, but I can't. But it's only for a week. I told you, I have to finish those contracts I'm doing for your family. Oh, I'll just talk to Daddy. No, Gwen. It's only been a month I've been working for the firm. It's your family's firm. I also have to stay for the bar exam. Well, that's too bad, because we could have gone to visit your Aunt Sheridan together. Oh, Aunt Sheridan. And I haven't seen her in ages. She's such a trip. Mm. She's your father's sister, right? Yes, but he was in his teens when she was born. Well, that must be kind of weird, having an aunt who's only a few years older than you. I always thought of her more of a big sister. A really cool big sister. Hmm. I remember when we were younger, we used to get shipped off to Europe together in the summer, to some exclusive camp or visit relatives. She always finds some way to sneak us out of the house or hotel we were staying in and we go exploring. Later when we were older, we used to travel together, just the two of us. Mm -hmm. <laughs> she made everything so fun. But then I went to law school, got busy. She was living in Europe. I really miss her. So come with me. Gwen, I can't. But you can see her. You two can run right in the streets of Paris while I'm slaving away in boring old harmony. Well, how do you know it's boring? What's there to do? Well, why don't you find out? Good to know your hometown now that you've finally settled here. Maybe I will. Who knows? I might meet one of those lusty Cinderella's you've been saying are oh, dying to meet me. <laughs> Wait. I cannot believe you did this. What? That's exactly what I think Gwen Hotchkiss would look like without all that plastic surgery. Now, how do you know she had plastic surgery? You never even met her. You're right. She wouldn't pay to be that ugly. You know, I think you should stop reading all these magazines. I'm gonna be in these magazines one day, wearing the most fabulous jewels, getting my hair done by the best hairdresser in New York, and wearing a dress made just for me from the top designer in Paris. You really believe that, don't you? <laughs> yeah. Just because my family's poor doesn't mean I have to be. I know that, Teresa. You're my best friend, Whitney. Don't put down my dreams. I'm not. I mean, look at me. 
I actually have this crazy dream that I am gonna play at Wimbledon someday. Center court. And I'll be right there cheering you on in the front row, wearing a fabulous dress and a big hat and a really expensive necklace. Emeralds. And when you win, I'll tell all the dukes and duchesses and ladies that my best friend is the champion of Wimbledon. You are crazy, <laughs> Teresa Lopez Fitzgerald. <laughs> and I love you whether or not you're rich. I will be rich. Maybe sooner than you think. What? Is there something you're not telling me? Maybe. <laughs> Look at him. Best of buddies. I just wish Simone would be as focused as Whitney. She's been very moody lately. It's that age. She'll be fine. Yeah, you're right. Well, I have to go and rescue her. Rescue her from what? From the pandemonium of a Bennett family morning. <laughs> oh, yeah. oh yeah! Brat, rat face. Will you please stop it? Huh? I'm gonna ground you both if you wake up your mom. And I mean it. And what is it this time? Some boy asked Dragon Lady out on a date. What? Who? I don't know. The mutant took my beeper before I could see the message. Let me see it. Give it. Beauty is K. Beauteous. Oh, yes. Shut up. Let me see it, Daddy. Is that all it says? What? You erased it? It was an accident. Liar. You don't know who sent you this? No. Maybe it was... Who? I know. It's Freddy Krueger. Mm -hmm. Okay, my beauteous K. You little... Come to think of it. You look just like him. No, hey, I want you to stop it right now. No, I don't know why you need a beeper anyway, Kay. Daddy, everyone has them. If everyone wanted to jump off a cliff, would you? I wish. I'd like to push you off a cliff. Okay, now stop it. Now, I told you my rule. I want to meet any boy before you go out with him. I want to meet them, too. No way. I'll tell him what a sweet and caring and loving sister I have. And how you do exercise every morning to make your breasts bigger. That's a lie! Okay, Jessica. I must. I must. Wake up, Grace. Who's there? Luis. Luis. What? What are you thinking about? Man, money, bills. How to stop Mama from working so hard so she doesn't put herself in an early grave? Usual. If I get that job on the fishing boat, I can bring that in. That money's for your college fund. But I want to help. That's final. I just don't understand why Mama didn't take that clerical position that was open at the station. She said she likes working for the cranes. That's what drives me crazy. How could she stand being used by them? How is she being used? They pay her? To be their damn maid. Housekeeper. I don't care what they call it. I don't want her connected with them. They've caused us too much pain. That's the past, Louise. That was never proved. That doesn't mean that it didn't happen. I hate those cranes. So tell me, what's this sudden interest in me getting to know Harmony? Well, you should know your kingdom. Kingdom? Oh, come on. The cranes have lived in Harmony for what? 300 years? Give or take a few decades. And cranes are always going to live here. They're a Harmony royalty. And you are the crown prince. <laughs> Please. <laughs> it's true. Besides your family's global business interests, the cranes own most of the town and the local industry. It's all going to be yours one day. It only makes good business sense that you get to know the place and the locals. True. But knowing you, my adorable, intelligent Gwen, there's more to it. Out with it. Ah, uh, you know me so well. <sighs> okay. Ethan, you said yourself that you didn't spend much time in Harmony growing up. Well, now you're back. Harmony is where you're going to live from now on, work, and raise a family. Aha, uh -huh, the picture becomes clearer. <laughs> 
Ethan, we've had what I think is a very good relationship for a really long time now. Yes, we have. Well, we swore we'd always be honest with each other, so I'll just be honest now. There are times when I feel that you've come very close to proposing, but something always stopped you. Quinn, you know I love you and only you. Oh, I know, darling, I know, but... I also know that you didn't have a real family life growing up, being away so much. And maybe if you put down roots in harmony and got out there and met people and, and see how happy people can be when they're married and have a family, maybe that would make the idea of settling down just better for you. I don't know. Maybe I'm just being selfish. You could never be anything but wonderful. I just want you to be happy. Aunt Sheridan never really seemed to find true happiness, no matter where she lived. Well, I always wondered why your Aunt Sheridan never gave Harmony a chance. She might have found happiness had she made a life for herself here. to finish getting dressed for work. Uh, who were you talking to just now? No one. Well, I heard you call out to someone. Oh, I had a dream. It seems so real. About what? Nothing, it's silly. Honey, if it upsets you. Uh... I'm fine, <laughs> really. I'm gonna go make breakfast. Sounds so happy. <laughs> yes, love will do that. Well, you deserve it. You've waited long enough. Yes, I have to. Oh, sometimes I think it will never happen. But then I think of you and how similar our lives have been. And I just take hope that someday I'll find love and happiness too. Oh. You are so sweet to say that. Promise me that we'll always be friends. <laughs> so how long before you and Dodie get here? Oh, you're leaving now? Oh, great, I can't wait. Diana? Be careful. You know, that sign says no beach fires. I can afford the fine. I mean, besides, what cop is gonna arrest someone for lighting a beach fire? By the way, congratulations. Mama said you made the honor list again. Dude, I'm proud of you. Thanks. Be a junior this year, right? Yeah. Just think, man. Two more years, you'll be going to college. Now you and your sister will be the first ones in this family to ever go to college. So why did you decide to apply for that job on the fishing boat this summer? Pay is better than the cannery. Good. You and Teresa need to save your money for college. Teresa? Teresa got a job? Teresa. 
Heaven forbid the prima donna should actually look for a job, right? No, I got her a job. Where? Burger Hut. Ha! <laughs> Our sister serving up burgers and fries? I don't think so. I think so. She's gonna take that job whether she likes it or not. It's time our sister stopped fantasizing. She's some rich debutante. Face reality. Tell me what's going on, Teresa. I've already said too much. <laughs> but I'm your best friend. True. But it's a pretty big secret. Good or bad? Fantastic. <laughs> oh, tell me. I'll lend you my silk dress. OK. I'll tell you if you promise to be happy for me. Sure. I mean, as long as it's not going to mess you up. Well, why would you say that? I worry about these wild dreams you have, Teresa. What you'll do to make them happen. I just don't want to see you hurt, that's all. Believe me, I won't be. You okay today? Yeah, I'm fine. Okay, girls, let's go. Carnival starts tomorrow, we have a lot of work that has to be done. Isn't Simone gonna help out too? Yes, she's over at the Bennett's. I'm gonna go pick her up now. Have a nice day. <laughs> Please give me a hint. Okay. <clears throat> it's about a boy and their future together. Can't believe you erased that message. What difference does it make? He didn't leave his name. He must be a real wuss. He's not a... You know who he is. Who? Who is he, Simone? That new guy with the nose ring? I have no idea what you're talking about, Jessica. I'll find out. Drop dead. Ma, Kate told me to drop dead. Mm-hmm. You're so obnoxious. No one would ever want to go out with you. I'll have plenty of dates. I'm a natural beauty. Please. It's true. You're the one who needs push-up bras to push up your puny little breasts. You little... Ma, Kate hit me. Girls. I did not, but I'm going to. Girls. Kay got beeped by some strange boy. Aren't you going to ask her who it is? Just eat your breakfast, Jessica. But you always want to know about who we're hanging out with. Why don't you want to know today, Mom? Because she doesn't. Well, I think it's weird. Hey, nice uniform, Dad. You look really cool, Dad. Like a movie star. <laughs> Congratulations on your new promotion, Mr. Bennett. Thank you, girls. I'm sorry, sweetie. Your first stage. Chief, I forgot. I should have done something special. Well, that's all right. Grace, what's going on? <sighs> Fine, I told you. Go sit down. I'll make you some eggs. Well, I want to thank you girls for volunteering to help with the carnival. Like we had a choice? Mom's chairwoman. My father's in charge of the volunteers. Well, it's going for a good cause. To help raise money for community projects, including installing new computers in schools. I'm going to make posters today, Daddy. Now that's the spirit, Jessica. Kiss up. Are you planning to leave early again today, Kay? You left early yesterday? Where'd you go? Um, I'll get that. Eve. Sam. Come in. Hey, look at you, Mr. New Police Chief. <laughs> Congratulations. Thanks, Eve. Is the mom still here? In the kitchen, trying to avoid flying objects. Kay and Jessica. Who else? You know deep down inside, they love each other. Oh, very deep. <laughs> Where's Grace? Um, in the kitchen. Something wrong? Eve, you're not only Grace's best friend, but you're her doctor. Have you noticed anything strange or different about my wife lately? Different? No, why? Well, it's just the last few days, she seems kind of tense. Oh, Sam, she's got a lot on her plate. Here, the store, now the carnival. Yeah, usually she thrives on activity, but I think it's something more. Earlier, I heard a call out to someone in the bedroom. When I walked in, she said it was just a dream, but 
I think it's something more than that. I mean, I think that there's something she's not telling me. You, do you think you could talk to her, find out what's going on? I'm really worried about her. It's smoke. Somebody lit a fire on the dune. It's probably just senior celebrating graduation. Yeah, I feel like celebrating myself down here when I was in high school. Mr. Straight Arrow, a party animal? You got a job to apply for? Catch you later. All right. Hey, if you see Teresa, tell her I need to talk to her. All right. All right. Time to break up the party. Mm -hmm. oh, I have to go soon. No. no. <laughs> Well, it's not too late to change your mind. With the Concord, we could be making love in Paris tonight. My father wants me to finish up those contacts for your family this week. Oh, my family would understand. Especially if I came back as Mrs. Ethan Crane. Get married in Paris? What? End of the summer wedding. Well, of course, you have to officially propose first. Say, did I tell you Sheridan might be getting engaged? Your aunt. No, he didn't. At least that's what it sounded like last time she called. Hey, do me a favor. When you're in Paris, check out the new boyfriend. Make sure he's good for her. If anyone deserves happiness, it's Sheridan. I have to stay strong. Diana would have wanted me to. I found Sheridan Crane. We can finally get her. <laughs> she will never know what hit her. You are. What you run off to? I need for you to start setting up folding chairs in front of the tent. Is that too hard? Yeah. Well, Mrs. Theron needs people to help her shut clamps for the chowder. We'll set up chairs. Okay. Thanks for volunteering. Now tell me. Hi, Miguel. Miguel, if you set up some chairs, I need to talk to Whitney. Uh, I can. I'm on my way to the docks. I'm going to go apply for a job on a fishing boat. Ooh, good luck. <laughs> You'll need it more than me. Why? Uh, Luis wants to talk to you. About what? I think he should tell you. Just don't lose your cool when you hear it, okay? I don't like the sound of this. Where's Luis? I want to know so I can avoid him. On the beach. He was going to nail some kids for building a fire on the dunes. I pity them. Yeah. They don't know what they're in for. <laughs> well, I'll catch you later. Okay. I gotta go apply for that job. Bye. Alone at last. <laughs> All right, I can't wait another second. <sighs> Tell me your secret. Okay. I'm getting married. Married? To Ethan Crane. Excuse me. Go away. Hey, Romeo. You know it's against the law to light a fire on the dune? Well, thanks for telling me, officer. And have a good day. Get up, Romeo. Come on. Name isn't Romeo, pal. It's Ethan. Ethan Crane. You're Ethan Crane? Bonjour, Mademoiselle Crane. Oh, bonjour, André. Will your uh, brain be showing you? Not this morning. Nothing wrong, I hope. No, everything's perfect. Good. Café crème? 
we... <sighs> this love has to last. Nothing can go wrong this time. I won't let it happen. I can't wait any longer. She is a sitting duck. I'm going to shoot her. Hi, Mom. Hi, sweetheart. Mwah. Hi, Grace. Neve. Hi. Come on, girls, get your things. I'm going to drive you to the carnival. I can do that. I don't mind. You're unusually quiet. You okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Oh, Sam is worried about you. Yeah, well, Sam worries too much. I don't know, I think he's right. I think something's going on with you. You don't even look good. Tell me what's wrong. Evil is coming.